I'd like now to talk about um, Taylor series approximations to functions. We can approximate in uh, a, uni, a univariate function. Say g of x near x equals x naught. We can approximate that by a series of polynomials. So we might have x. This is g, might look like this. X naught is here. We might try a constant, then a straight line. Then we might add in a quadratic and add in a cubic and so on. And we construct the Taylor series. That is g of x is approximately equal to x naught, uh, g of x naught plus uh, x minus x naught g dash of x naught plus x minus x naught squared over 2 g dash dash x naught etc. Right, this should all be in uh, your EM1A notes. We can extend this idea to multivariate functions. So we're going to see what happens if we approximate a function of two variables. The Taylor series generalizes in the natural way. That is, we've got f of x naught y naught plus the first derivative with respect to x times the distance between them evaluated at x naught y naught again plus the y derivative. We also have then the second derivatives. However, unlike the uh, earlier case, we also have to take care of the mixed derivatives. In this case, the mixed derivative term becomes There's strictly a half here, but remember there's two of these. So we can also add the y derivative. But we remember that these are essentially the same. And so you usually just add these up 
um, you ignore the factor of a half there, obviously, and you don't have, so you don't have these purple bits really, because you recall d squared Right, so you'll often see the um, Taylor series written out um, with the mixed derivatives already account, already added together. So that's just something that you can do with partial derivatives. Often it's um, more useful to approximate um, more complicated second degree uh, multivariate functions with Taylor series.